Welcome back. We've completed Vermeer ahead of schedule. And we have lost Ashley Williams in the process. Which means she will be, sir, not appearing in this game from now on. Let's see what our crew feels about that. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. And he will be, on the outside, but he'll be fighting Sovereign. It's a shame that the, the minor crew members don't have anything to say about this. Like Presley and Chakwas. Does Liara comment on Ashley's death? I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. I mean, yeah, he's not really doing this out of free choice. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Well, he makes it sound like he believed that the Reapers couldn't be stopped, but I don't know if that's his... that that's what he started with, or... If it became that over time, because of his indoctrination, Benezia seemed to think she could uh, stop Saren, but then got pulled over to his side. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. No, she does not comment on Ashley's death. One of the things I liked um, in Mass Effect 3 is that they have your crew um, interact with each other more. Because here it kind of feels like, okay, you... Shepard has a personal bond with all the characters, but they don't really have a bond with each other. So it doesn't really feel like a team so much. To the point that half of the characters were referring to Rex as the Krogan on... Uh, on Vermeer. Whereas Mass Effect 3 has them move around the ship and talk to each other. Which I always thought was kind of a nice touch. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Akuz? <laughs> Not to hostile action, but then... Um, to what did you uh, lose a soldier? You're making it sound like you lost one to friendly action. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I remember her. 
and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. I think he's run out of things to say. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. I see what you did there. Also, a bit of a weird comparison, because yeah, the Turians aren't exactly um, eons old. Like, like um, eldritch abominations. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Let's head down where I believe Kiri should be. Who does survive, even if you don't go to him. Uh, if you go back to the bomb, Kiri still survives. If you've done the things to help his team along the way. Um, which is kind of weird. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. Perhaps we will. I, we won't though, but perhaps... You don't know that at this point. Um, he... Like, if I do this mission in the normal order, you know, you are forced to go to the Citadel next, and so that's where he drops off. So now he's just gonna go <laughs> drop... gonna leave, I guess, at the next planet I go to? It's kind of weird. Um. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. I mean, it was. In that we stopped what Saren was doing there. We didn't stop Saren himself because cutscenes intervened. Let me see what you have. And we can still get supplies from him. Oh, he has more Metagel and Grenade upgrades. So that's useful. Those are getting expensive. Not that it matters, I have over 3 million. And I haven't even sold my inventory yet. Uh, Mercenary 9 heavy armor. Well, the only human we had that could wear heavy armor is dead. So that is decidedly unuseful. My level... No, I'm not level 25 yet. Because that's the point where I will be able to... Uh, um, buy the level 10 Spectre weapons, I think. Because that would equate to level 50 in the old game. Which is when you could do that. Also, I now have 100% Paragon, so... We had better... Um, get that mission soon. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Um... Does Garrus have anything to say about this? Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. 
about not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal, about finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Saleon, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I think we went through this before. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Yeah, I think we had that whole conversation before, and that means he's just going to repeat that every time I talk to him now. I think Tolly has nothing new to say either. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. Which is a shame. I guess we've mostly run out of conversation. I think Tolly will have a new um, conversation when we finish her personal mission. But that is about it then. Alright, well we finished a major mission and accumulated a lot of crap again, so you know what that means. Alright, got that taken care of. Let's see what we have to do. Um, I kind of want to deal with Cerberus. Really, we only have the two missions in our... Uh, in our journal, because all the rest are collection stuff. So Cerberus and Geth activities. Let's go deal with Cerberus, which is the Yangtze system in the Voyager cluster. Nothing else here. Voyager cluster. There it is. It's in the Amazon system. Have we done that yet? I can't find that on my nose. Oh, there we are. That, yeah, no, that's a mission that we're going to get on Pharaohs, I believe. Um, so, we'll leave that be for now. Whenever possible, I like to. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Oh, I think this is the Paragon mission. Also in the area. I'm mean, just anywhere in the galaxy is in the area, I guess. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Um, I think you can actually um, refuse this mission. Anyway, that's the uh, Paragon mission, which, which we're not doing just yet. I was saying, whenever possible, I like to learn about a mission before doing it.
which is possible with the other cluster here. Um, let's take Liara and um, Caden to celebrate that he's alive. Plus, I think it kind of makes sense to take him on the mission where we're fighting Cerberus, because it explains his uh, reaction to you working with them in Mass Effect 2 a little bit. Let's go fight some more rogue cells, which I'm sure is what they are. Sure, the elusive man has nothing to do with anything we are seeing here. Right now, we're suddenly getting a lot of plows with grass. Um, okay, that save took forever. Got some ore heading in that direction. And, yeah, there's three bases here on the one planet that we have to take care of. So, let's go. Base number one. Uh, let's make sure everybody's leveled up. Caden. Throw. Master throw. And master lift. Why not? Liara. Throw. Warp. First aid. Might be tempted to put points in electronics because it gives you a little bit more flexibility in team composition if you don't have um, electronics yourself, but you're still missing um, you're still missing uh, encryption. So it's not really going to help. There. Go fight our future employer. Let's see what they're up to. Oh yeah, these are Heads up. Oh, wait. I thought they hadn't seen me. But they did. Um, Hold the line. Um, are you stealing lines from Kirhi? Somebody's trying to use powers on me. Also, somebody was running behind the, the back, so I wonder if they're coming this way. No. We're staying there. Research technician? Why are we fighting them? Because they're fighting us, I guess, is the answer. And there's little Ragnai. Mini guys in there. Oh, that's uh, your research technician and your biotic. Impressive. That will stop him from doing that again, though. You're actually not dead yet. 
Now you are. Is that all for the people? I think so. I think the three dots are... The creatures. You've eliminated the threat at this facility. Continue to one of the other nearby labs. Yep, just Cerberus doing some experiments on Ragni, I Negative guess. Contacts, Commander. Because we already knew they were doing that. I wonder if this is connected to that same experiment. Uh, there is stuff to open here, I think. Isn't there? Yeah. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. Oh. Well, we knew that. I was hoping for stuff. Can't go in the back here. I don't know if this is connected to the uh, Rachni we found on Depot Sigma 23 or whatever it was called. It might be. Or maybe not. It's Cerberus, so... Who knows if the... Right hand knows what the left hand's doing. These throws so little threat that I don't even really need to... Move out of the way of the rockets. Because the two of them aren't really gonna endanger me. Redeploying. I don't know if it's predetermined here what's in what base, or if it works like the um, the Rogue VI mission on the Moon, where the easiest enemies will always be in the first base you enter. You coming? And these are... Are they husks or are they Forian Creepers? I think they might be Forian Creepers. Lots of stuff to pick up here. Enemy Enemy is everywhere! You just... You, you saw me. One guy. Also, quick poll. Is he saying enemy is everywhere or enemies everywhere? My wife and I disagree on that. Mm. Oh. And a level up. I mean, I know Sabotage is really more of a stop him shooting power. Doesn't do an awful lot of damage by himself, by itself. So it's not that useful to use it at the same time. As, um... Human armor. Um, it's not great. Ooh, the Wait, can't he wear medium armor? Have I still not put points in that for him? No, he just doesn't, he can't. I thought he could, even though he's a sentinel. Huh. Um. Well, that makes median armor entirely pointless. Um. 
Set these guys free. Oh, there's still a research te uh, technician. Oops. Creepers are among my least favorite enemy in the... ...in the game, because... ...they take so much punishment. There is no sign of Kohoku among the creeper corpses. He must be at one of the other labs in the area. I wonder what horror Cerberus will have waiting for us at the next base. Perimeter secured. I wonder that too. And again, yeah, I think... Kohoku is probably just in the last base, regardless of what order you do this in. An Omni tool. Uh, both Caden and. Well, I guess that's an upgrade for him. Liara doesn't really need an Omni tool because I. Well, I mean, it does give her, like, shield bonuses and stuff. But not for cooldown, because, um... Um, I haven't given her tech powers yet, so... She doesn't need it. And a biotic amp. Not a great one. Um, anything on this side? Yes. More alien armors. And more of kind of the same. That seems to be it. Take out the turrets first. Now I can look at this pyramid. Is this the one that you I need to go on top and to uh, investigate? Yes. Discover an entire pyramid. Why not? And it just contains a data disk. Well, let's deal with the last base. I think one of the big problems with Cerberus, despite the fact that, as I alluded to earlier, I don't really think they fit in the universe at all, as a like clandestine human organization that somehow has enough power to rival, you know, fleets of major species. It just doesn't really make any sense. And I think one of the big problems is that there's just a really big gap between what we're told about Cerberus and what we're shown about Cerberus, because you know, there's a reason why, you know, I've been joking Cerberus is nothing but rogue cells, because that's all we ever see from, about, uh, from them. We see all these projects where they're doing horrible experiments or where things went, went incredibly wrong. Like we see, you know, Jack, we see Project Overlord. We see these bases where they're experimenting on creepers and rachni. But we're told that no, they're really this human humanitarian organization that does good for humans and they're just a little bit... Uh, 
extreme about their methods sometimes, and we're told that by by Jacob, by Miranda, and we're like, no, 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 this all this other stuff that we've seen from Cerberus isn't you know what they're really like. But I think most people. Oh no! Don't do that. These research technicians seem to be worse than. Uh, I thought so. Can somebody else do something? I gave commands, but they didn't work. Shields down. I've had enough of you. Shoot at him? Oh, you're still doing this guy. I will destroy you! And so, yeah, all we ever see of Cerberus is a group of incompetents who do horrible experiments that go horribly wrong. As opposed to um, what we're supposed to accept them as, which is like, oh, they're actually a benevolent human group and. They're not so bad. And yeah, I know they turn out to be kind of bad. In the end. So maybe that's the point. But... For... Not... For convincing the player that they should be working with Cerberus... Um, in... Uh, Mass Effect 2 would just do a really terrible job. Alright, we just got the one guy left. You must die. Would help if you stood, stood still. I think we're done here. You check for a pulse, but find none. Admiral Kohoku is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh, goddess. It's Admiral Kohoku. Cerberus must have tracked him down. And... Did some kind of experiments on him. Our galactic savers, saviors, everybody. Yeah, you can argue all you want that the elusive man was um, indoctrinated, but he was either incompetent or um, evil all along. Because apparently he just had no idea of all this horrible stuff that his organization was doing. Um, and yeah, we found out about another base, I think in the first, uh, uh, base when we looked at that one server, which told us about the main service facility in the Columbia system, here in the same cluster. So that will be our next stop. Nothing else here. So, did Kirihi leave? <laughs> did he go to Binthu? Not sure. Alright, Beryllium. A Brophium data disk. And a large deposit of Thorium. Now we need to go to Columbia.
for the Hades Dogs mission. Look for unknowns. That was the planet. Doesn't seem like there is one in this asteroid belt. And why not finish this with the squat we started with? Um, did I level up again? I did. I completely forgot about it. Alright, we'll just keep going with uh, Throw and Warp. Caden... Barrier and... Uh, first aid, we're not. And Liara can have Master Fido and Master Warp. And there's ore nearby again. So we'll go there first. He survived that. I don't know, but he did. Alright. That just went everywhere. Um, some more upgrades. Level 24 now, yeah. One more level, I think, if I'm right about how the Spectre weapons work. Um, just immediately got shot at. Oh, hello? Oh, can you just die? He did, didn't he? Just a scratch. Sure it is. Patching you up. I think it's these dumb uh, snipers again. They love to just cause instant kills. And Liara is definitely going to die if she stands there. Alright. It's a bit chaotic. like the two of you out in the open like that. With snipers around. Oh, that 
has a really big effective radius now. Is that the only? No, there's another one over there somewhere. Alright, one more. Hi. And that's it. Look like there's anything to find in here. Go to the back. Which this time we can go into. Uh, the amount of stuff we're getting that we don't need is getting kind of ridiculous. All it's good for is money, which we also don't really need very much, except, you know, for those level 10 Spectre weapons. That and the occasional non-human armor are like the only things worth buying in this game. <laughs> and, you know, upgrades, but sure. Like the Metagel and the grenade upgrades are worth buying. Because you can't get them any other way. Uh, other than that, this is all kind of stuff that is not that useful. Omni tool. Unity app isn't great. That's actually pretty nice. Omni tool, I guess. Like the cooldown bonus is more useful for him. So let's give Liara this one. So because she can benefit from the shield and the med recharge bonus, even though the cooldown bonus does nothing for her. If it's not aid, it's not interesting. <laughs> as far as the weapon upgrades go. Mm. You cautiously press a few buttons and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your heart suit's internal computer. Its memory wiped, the computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. Has anything ever come from this? I don't know. Um, I honestly don't remember. That's it for this mission. Oh, that's the Paragon mission. Alright, that's it for Cerberus, in this game at least. I think one of the other side quests might be another Cerberus project gone wrong. Aren't they all? Um, I'm not sure. What was that the one we already did? Um, I'm gonna go do Geth activities in the Armstrong Nebula cluster. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. 
Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I am not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. If it's going to end up in your hands anyway, then why do you care? What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Does that affect anything? Not sure that it does. Maybe it gets brought up during the Shadow Broker DLC. But uh, I'm definitely not sure of that. There was no unknown in the other one. Or at least not that I could find. So you'd expect there to be one here. But I guess not. Or I'm missing it anyway. Um, Alright, so I want to go to the Voyager Cluster, and I don't know where that is. No, sorry, I want to go to the Armstrong Nebula. Didn't know where that is either, but it's here. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy? Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. Uh, we already knew about that. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Alright, um, yeah, so this is just a series of five missions, the uh, majority of which don't have any fights inside bases. I'm just gonna start here. Three, I think there's three that um, are just Mako fights and two that have actual indoor fights. Matriarch writings. Nothing. Which makes them slightly less interesting, I guess. Um, well, obviously this is Tali's quote-unquote loyalty mission. So, we'll take her, and let's take Garrus for Team Dextro. Facing the Geth, I think that will be a good team. Um, let's see, damping and 
Soul training. Give Tali some first aid points because they're useful. And I kind of just want to max out AI hacking because that's uh, very useful against Gif. And let's just do shotguns. Pick any equipment up that they can use. Um, that's fine. Recoil damper three. Definitely do better than that. Rail extension seven. Gram rail eight. Um, it'd be nice to get a really good Omni tool for Tali somewhere. A good place to do that would be uh, bring down the sky. No armor for her. And what is she using? Oh, medical exoskeleton eight. Energized breathe is fine. This one has. A little bit more protection, but that's not really worth it. Wait, what? Why does it say empty? That's not right. We got Energize Weave 7, which is fine. And. Ablative Coating 7. Switch to Kinetic Exoskeleton 8, why not? And you're using Snowblind Rounds, Kinetic Coil 8, Rail Extension 5, which we can upgrade to 7, there we go. I don't know what the best way to go is, but we're going to go this way. That's an imposing sight. Nice on here. Kind of uh, unexpected. That mountain was really hard to scale. This is the indoor one, and it looks like we may be facing husks as well. Of course, when I don't have a high biotic team, but hey, I am a high biotic team by myself. Lockers. All right, let's see what we've got. And yeah, it's husks. Well, at least, uh, Tech powers are pretty effective against them, even if they are not crowd control powers. Oh, 
like I said, I've got that covered. these Geth are supposedly not working with Saren, which was the whole point of uh, Tali's quest, then why are there husks here? That's the real question. Also, if they aren't working with Saren, are these not heretics then? Which would mean that, um, uh, you know, there's no reason for us them to attack us, based on Legion's explanations. Are you trying to shoot the ones that are in the other room? He was confused. Wait, there's more? Don't even have to play mini games here and just open everything. I guess new ones spawned in here. Or is it Gef now? It's Gef now. Yeah, it is. Um. Someone told me that high level Gef, primes and clauses and stuff, give buff to the, buffs to the other ones around them. I've never really noticed that though. But I suppose it might be true. The hack destroyer is uh, causing chaos, which is what I wanted. And then he died. Oh. That worked. You do what I ask you, Tali. No. Oh. And then your squad mates don't really know not to shoot at the hacked ones, which can be kind of annoying at times. What are you doing here? Just standing here. Why not? Nope, that's not on him. That seems to be it. We got a Gaff dropship. I forgot about that. Well, 
like that's hard to deal with in uh, Mako. Where's the last guy? No. One down, three to go. All right, that's one of the bases. Finish up this planet. I really should have left that for later because it was a pain to get back up. Uh, and apparently it's in the same direction as the debris anyway. As Gary said, uh, 30 to go. Cobalt here. Tereskova, whom I almost named my shepherd after. This is the cluster of firsts. The Grissom system in this planet is actually named after uh, some Grissom was the first person on Mars. I'm gonna stick with the same crew for all of these. Not Gus Grissom. Who, while one of the original uh, Mercury astronauts, um, was not a first. Unless you count first to die in a fire, but that's that's a bit bleak even for Mass Effect. There's the geth for this base. And we have to fight a fresher maw, which had been a while. No, you're annoying. There, that should allow me to deal with the losses without constantly getting hit. I mean, he's not hitting me at all, so that's good. We haven't had to fight a pressure ball in a while. Um, but, and I didn't see it coming at all, even though it was very obviously a pressure nest. The terrain for them is very distinctive. This one at least decided to uh, not do the annoying keep following you mode with tentacles and only just move around a little bit, which made it a lot easier to kill, just fine with me. Somebody's still alive there, and since I don't have a combat scanner, I can't tell where they are. But there's more. Are we fighting the dropship or is that not a thing here? That's not a thing. Ooh, a prime. Not really that intimidating considering we're fighting in the Mako. Two outposts done. We're halfway there. Um, kind of, except there is a fifth one, but I guess we don't know about that yet.
All right, let's continue. Iridium. Nothing. Not hard to tell which one's on the outside there. Mercury. Nothing. And nothing. Hong is next, I guess. That's the outpost, so I guess we'll go this way around. That's on top of that mountain. Got some gift presents over here, and they are shooting the crap out of me. Because there's, oh, there's three of them. decided to come after me. Which is annoying. Uh, almost lost all my shields there. Kind of a, an annoying spot to fight them. Would have been better if I'd been on the other side, I guess. Anything here? The Geff Ray is strengthening regular data bursts on an encrypted channel using the Alliance's own FTL convoys. It's not clear where the data is being directed, nor the content of the signal. I'll turn it off. This planet is beyond annoying to navigate. By the way... This should be better at least, because it looks like we're not going up the terrible... Um, ...mountains anymore. And we're jammed again. Geth's just jamming. They like to do that. Alright. It's a terrible way to drive. Alright. They shoot me all at once. Deal with some of those rocket troopers first. Uh, who's left? You are. So 
Something tells me there's a drop ship. Yep. Oh, this is where we're fighting the drop ship. In which case, I probably want to kind of stay out of the line of fire of everybody else. Just one more outpost left. Uh, they don't count the gap that are still here. There's one dude left. And it's him. That's it for this planet. Uh, some Demetriarch's writings. Lithium. And Vamp Sheet is the last one, I guess. Of the original four, because there's, like I said, there's going to be a, a fifth one. Uh... This is another one that only has outdoor fighting, so... Squad baits don't really matter. Other than for electronics and decryption, of course. But we've got that more than covered with these two. Uh, we're gonna go this way around and end at the Gef Outpost last, as I usually like to do. I remember this one. This is the one with the path up that has turrets. Which, you know, is obvious because you can see that. That's not a huge obstacle for us, though. of the amount of punishment the Mako can take. Outdoor one, isn't it? Yep. Two in one. One guy left. And I'm sure it'll be another dropship or something. Where is he? There. 
there. He fell down. And they dropped the Colossus on me. Wait, where did it even come from? I didn't see a drop ship. I just saw a Colossus up here. Oh well. By itself, it's not that much of a threat. I expect one of these outposts to be the main base of operations for this incursion. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It must be a message from the primary Geth base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and take them out. Yep, you've done four, and then you get a fifth one, which is in the last system, which is now unlocked in the Armstrong cluster. Um, what did we get out of the Mako? So one more Geth base to go, but I think we'll take care of that in the next video.